Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. That went well. Where's the Where is the baby at? Was it a production? <laughs> oh, it was. But yeah, he wouldn't go down for his nap. I was like, please, I'm on a schedule today. Oh. Um, but my husband has him inside, so it's all good. He's still sleeping, so he went down a little bit later. But he's a good sleeper, so I can't complain. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I've got my husband watching get the two as well. I'm like, make sure this day is nice and calm. <laughs> I know. You're like, how do you keep them quiet? I'm not sure. Especially how how old's your eldest? She's three. Three. Yeah, so I only have I have one one boy, yeah. seven months old. Yeah. yeah. I can't yeah, believe they're only a day apart. Yes. Their birthday. Yes, it's they're both in October. So crazy. Yeah, I'm the eighth of the seventh, right? Sorry? Rian is the eighth of October. That's right. Yeah. So yes. my so I no, I my my youngest she is nineteenth of October, but I'm the ninth. Ah, and and you're the, the ninth. Seven, yeah, we have seven, nine and nineteen old birds. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. A very uh, fair household. I said to my husband, I'm like, party for life. Like, just start saving up for every October. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, I know. That's, I'm, my birthday's in, uh, in December, so I'm the same. Like, everything happens at once, like Christmas in December. And then I have a lot of birthdays with my family that are all in November as well. So it's like that end of the year is an expensive, oh my expensive God. two months. Well, I am so excited to be having this live with you. I was trying to introduce you, but I, I, I think you have to, like, just tell everybody. Like, I just can't wait for everybody to, you know. Yeah hear about you and I mean so exciting um so I'm a celebrity makeup artist I'm based in LA I'm Irish um I lived in London for uh, five years and now I'm living in LA for the last nearly five years as well and I do a lot of red carpet editorial um honestly I haven't done a whole lot on Instagram until um until this pandemic happened. Yeah. Um, I like to be behind the camera, not in front of the camera, but I'm getting used to this kind of vibe. But yeah, so I work, I work a lot with um, a lot of actresses, a lot of models, like a lot of different women doing different things. Um, but yeah, that's basically... I know you work with one of my favorites, if I can say. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's on Aussie, Instagram. Nicole Kidman. I know <laughs> she's everyone's favorite believe me she's everybody's favorite and she's such an amazing human being oh, she's such a great woman and she's so good to other women as well um she's great I have to say and she is seriously like like skin goals I mean Nicole I'm not sure what age Nicole is but like her skin is flawless and everyone always says to me when I do her makeup they're like what did you do with Nicole's skin and I'm like very little like I can't take credit for it I did very little she just really looks after her skin Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah. What are some of the things like she does probably like a lot of SPF, would you say? like she, I she... think she's very big on the SPF, 100%. Yeah. She it's uses really the Neutrogena SPF. I think it's SPF 100 or it's SPF 90. It's like super, super, like it doesn't really blend in all that well, but it really does. Her skin is so porcelain, yeah. so it really does protect her skin. I know. So she's very big on SPF. I think as well, she's very big on just like she looks after her whole body. Therefore, your skin looks great, you know. Okay. Um, she's fit and she eats healthy and she's just all around healthy. So I think that's what shows, you know, there's yeah. only so much you can do for your skin unless you're genuinely healthy, you know? Absolutely. Beauty from the inside is so important. Just make yeah. sure you eat well, that you drink water and yeah. sure you look after your skin. It really shows. shows on Exactly. The yeah. So all of that. And I think SPF are the two main things. That's so good. Well, I know when we, we met was it like six, seven months ago initially? Yeah. I think it was, I was, it, um, it was in the addition hotel, right? Yeah, West um, I don't think it was seven, no, because Rian's only seven months. So, uh, he was about three, no, two months old at the time, maybe. Yeah, like five months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so, yeah. So I know we met and then you got introduced to Nesco and you yeah. were in the products. And so how, I mean, we're both moms. We, uh, we both have the same, you know, seven month old babies. And yeah. I just kind of want to ask you, like, how have you been going through this quarantine? Like, how has it been for you being a mom? I know normally you work a lot, you're on the sets and you travel the world. But right now, like, how has it been for you that you're not working as much? You're obviously at home with a little baby. Is, do you have any tips for self care for um, everybody to share? I have to say, like, the part of the day that I'm enjoying, not that sounds really bad, the part of the day I'm enjoying the most is that when my son does go down to bed, that I can go into my bathroom and just like cleanse. I get to like the minute he goes to bed I go straight to my room put on my pajamas um and just like get out of my clothes for the day have a shower or just start doing a little cleansing on my skin so like even before I even sit down to have dinner with my husband I'm like ready to go it's like that's when it starts for me 
Um, it's just such a, like, because the fact of the matter is, like, I still have days where I don't get a chance, like, I get up with him, we're busy, because my husband is still working three days, and we didn't have our nanny for a while, and we're starting to get our nanny back now, because more of these, you know, Instagram things are coming in, I'm trying to do more stuff online, and then he's working as well. Um, yeah, so some days, if my husband has to go work, and we get up, you know, and you give him the bottle, and he's eating food now as well, he's so active now, he wants to walk, he wants to crawl, yeah. like, you don't look good all day long. Like if you get to brush your teeth and wash your face and you have your pajamas on, that's it. Like you don't get any This is like time. special occasion right now, right? This, yeah. <laughs> I have to like prepare for this and let everyone know I'm going to need like half an hour to get ready and then I'm going to be doing an hour live. So don't come near me. See, um, we, we moms, we multitask so much. I mean, yeah, I don't know what I did with my time before. And I remember when, because a lot of my friends have kids before me and they'd always say like, oh, what do you do with all your time? And I think, what the hell do they mean? Like, what do you do with your time? Now I totally get it. I'm like, oh yeah, like you just really have to do, or else I do a lot with one hand now and while I hold him, that keeps him happy. Okay. Um, and I said to my mom, I was like, On oh, I can't wait till he can run around, you know? She was like, be careful what you wish for because that's a whole other ball game. I, I have to be honest, my three-year-old sometimes feels a little bit more um, work <laughs> because she's yeah. doing so much and she wants all the attention. But um, she's used to because she's like, she's used to the attention being on her as well. So yeah. she's like, hello, second, yeah. It's like a different type of work for sure. Yeah. But I, I agree with you. Like for me, nighttime is like my sanctuary. Like when the kids go to bed, it's when I do my my treatments. I do meditation. I mean, I try to yeah. get early in the morning so I can like really distress. Yeah. And I, I always try to at least get 20 minutes of meditation and I'll, yeah. I'll, you know I wear my eye treatments you know when I'm making the you know like the breakfast like always joke like I have my eggs I need to start doing that I need to put you them in the fridge I'm gonna teach you I usually gonna... keep one or two in the fridge but I need to keep a few in the fridge so that it reminds me to do it because when you were telling me that story that you put on the face mask and then you go make your kids breakfast like that's what you have to do these days yeah. before I would just put on a face mask for kids and I just do whatever I wanted to do and I've kind of like it I'm only getting back into my skincare regime now and he's seven months old because we have a routine. He's on solids. He's sleeping longer. I feel like I'm really finding my feet again. We're getting to sleep through the night. But like the first three months of, of four months of, you know, his life, my skin was terrible because I just didn't have the energy to do all of that. Like the thought of going into my bathroom and cleansing and toning and, you know, doing a 20 minute skincare regime. I was like, I went straight to bed. The minute he was asleep, I was asleep. I was barely wearing makeup. Yeah. So it feels nice to have like the actual energy to do it for yourself again, to have your own time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, um, I know you're so excited for me to tell, you know, a little bit about Nesco and our like, I am. and we're going to be actually studying at our treatment. So we have a good 20 minutes of wearing the mask while we're chatting, okay. but I do want to introduce. Which... Yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I do want to say like, part of the reasons why I created Nesco Skin is to really promote self-care and to really encourage my clients to slow down. So our philosophy is all about the blend of science with spirituality. So we have a proprietary technology, which is why you see the results with my products. But more than anything, everything is really designed to balance from the inside out. So all my collections uh, have different gemstones and minerals to balance different energies and chakras in the body. And that really helps um, us kind of calm down and just take the time out for ourselves that we really deserve. So, and then what I really love to do is I'm a Reiki master. Are you familiar with Reiki? Yes, actually my husband has done Reiki one, two and three, believe it or not. And I'm always you saying to him yeah, he's, I think, I know, I, I, sh I, cause I forget it was so long ago, but if I, when I'm pregnant or if I ever have like, I you know, like a sore stomach or anything like that, you know, we're in bed, he'll always do a little bit of Reiki on me and, you know, it really works where uh, he, he doesn't practice in it as much. He did it for himself more as a healing thing for himself. And yeah, he just, he kind of does it whenever you just naturally do. I think once you've studied it, like if you are not feeling great, you kind of sit down and put your hands on the area that doesn't feel you know, that is upset or whatever. And it works really well. And he does it on me. And I'm so grateful that he can do yeah, that because it's amazing. That. I love your husband. It's amazing. <laughs> I know. It's it's very rare. He's like, he's Metro. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. yeah. So that's very, very, that's so amazing. So that's actually what I do with my products is 
I charge all Nesco products with Reiki energy, promoting the state of relaxation and calm for my clients. So you'd mentioned being really busy and some nades, you just go straight to bed. I feel you, like we've been yeah. together, you know, I know exactly, I can just see it. But yeah. it's those days when I just make the 20 minutes for myself when everything tends to work out for me. So with Nesco, our philosophy is really slowing down and you will, we will do our neck decollete treatment today and the, you know and the eye treatment and it's all about really letting the product work but at the same time going in with an intention to really feel different once you're finished like yeah if, if you've been really tired and you feel you know energetically worn out when using my product i always recommend following the mantras that come with each collection so i know today you're going to be using the gold and i'm going to be using the diamond yes and, and i'm the very mantras. excited do you have a new multi-masking kit? Do you I like do. It? Isn't it great? So we talk It's about so beautifully packaged and I will probably use this little box again because I love really nice packaging. I find it so hard to throw it away. Um, but I just love that you can forever kind of restock and keep your masks in here. Which That's I love. I wanted to create as you know, packaging that can be used yeah. more than once. So reusable packaging in all our masks are biodegradable as well. Which is that is a huge thing for me. I have to say the biodegradable. I've really, I'm trying to get onto the biodegradable nappies, diapers. I call them nappies. You call them diapers. Yeah. Um, and wipes as well. Like the baby wipes or wipes that I use in my kid. I know they take like a hundred years or a thousand years or something outrageous to do, to, um, to get rid of. Yeah. But so, I mean, it's really hard. The diaper thing kind of scared me at first, but I've just found ones that can do it. The fact that your masks do as well, so you can just wash them down the sink when you're done with them, right? Or they will dissolve in water. Oh, yeah. You can throw them out. Yeah, no problem. Or if you put them in a hot boiling water, they will instantly dissolve. So usually And then you rinse throw... down the sink. Yeah. You can yeah. throw them in the yeah. sink. Yeah. yeah. I think that's amazing, I have to say, because the amount of waste that we go through with wipes and all that sort of stuff, like the more the ingredients need to be clean, but if it's environmentally friendly as well, yeah. Like when you when you start to watch those documentaries on things that aren't biodegradable and what happens to them, they don't like they just lie there. And it's so bad for the earth. So it's amazing. And I know it's so much harder to do a brand that's biodegradable. It is. Absolutely. And more expensive. It is. And you. Um, so let's do the treatment. So we're not okay. time and then we can keep chatting. Do you have your eye masks out? And you want yes. to say so. Everybody, what we're doing right now, Neskoski launched on Mother's Day on multi-masking kits. So Kate has a, our gold one, and I've got the diamond that we're going to be demonstrating. So the first thing um, is we're going to do the eye treatment. Okay. Now, what I actually, there's a lot of serum in there, Kate. And so I told you to bring a foundation brush. And one of my favorite tips for makeup artists is yeah. get the extra serum and actually using that all over your skin as a prep before you before make it. Before this in. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's blocking it. One sec. No problem. So um, Nesco is all about serum infusion into the skin. So we have, with our face mask, there's more than one ounce of serum, and it's all with our Gem Clinical proprietary technology. So I'm actually a makeup artist as well. I've been doing that for a long time, and I'm all about complexion perfection. And I think you're the same kind of what you mentioned about Nicole, like just beautiful skin when your skin is flawless and everything else flows on even better, right? I just think like with any client of mine, and I think it's it's an energy thing. I'm obsessed with skin. And when I do my makeup, I want it to look like, pe I want people to be like, oh my God, her skin is beautiful. Or doesn't she look really radiant and glowy? Yeah. I don't necessarily want someone to be like, oh, that looks like a nice foundation. I don't actually like the look of seeing foundation on my skin or concealer. You'll see it a little bit, but I want it to actually look like that beautiful it skin. Yeah, it's like, like natural I beauty. I think when you do that kind of makeup, your your clients are drawn towards you for that reason. I think a lot of my clients that I have are mainly because of how I do skin. Yeah, I can definitely see that with your work. It's absolutely gorgeous. So do you like you the makeup here? Yeah. This so is nice. What I've just noticed about this is I just patted it on because I do have, obviously I was not going to come on without makeup, so I have makeup on. But I just patted it on and it didn't make my makeup patchy, but it kind of gave, it's just settled into my skin really nicely. So this is actually something you can use over makeup, which is yeah. great. And because there is a lot of times with my clients that they're filming and they can put like quite a lot of makeup on for the film or like depending on what kind of character they're playing. And then they might have an hour to get back to their house. I'm there. We take makeup off. They have a quick shower. Or sometimes they don't even have time. Sometimes it's just like quick turnaround. And the fact that I could just put this over the makeup that they already have on to it hydrate is it is like saving so much time. Or for people in an office, you know, that they want to do this before on a Friday night That's whenever they go back to the office. 
it refreshes any concealer as well. So if you've been working on a set a lot, like a long day, you can yeah. just do this and it's gonna refresh everything. So you're wearing our gold mask, which is all about firm lift hydrate. It has collodial gold, marine collagen, hyaluronic acid, and it also has aloe vera. So it's great for puffiness and inflammation. Oh, and then mine that. is diamond, it's all about brightening, hydrating, energizing. So it has crushed diamond powder, which also helps to balance the crown chakra in the body. And, and the mantra for that is, I am, you know, like connected. And yeah. do you know your mantra? My mantra? Yes. My mantra is happy, healthy. That's okay. on my Instagram. That's always going to be my mantra for it. It's just, it just, I don't know when it started, probably like a good few years ago. And then I put it on the top of my Instagram and some people always laugh and like, what's this happy, healthy thing? And I'm like, it's just what I always say to myself. Like if I'm happy and I'm healthy, then what else do you need? I love you know? it. It's, health is most important. If we don't have health, we have nothing. Exactly. That's, that's my that's thing. number one priority. I agree. So how does that feel good? It feels really nice. I have to say it feels, I didn't actually have them in the first, but it feels really cold. Yeah. And it feels this part here, which I think is important to note is like, it's super thick because if I put these on my clients and I'm trying to do anything with the eyes, if they're really thin and they already start to like fall apart, it's just irritating for everyone. It's irritating for people at home. For moms, you definitely can't put this on and run around with kids if, unless it's thick. But this, like it's not moving, which I love. No. And if you ever, sometimes when you take it out, little tip, it may move because there's more serum that you pull out. And my tip for anybody um, that will ever feel that is just remove it for a second and then spread the serum down your face because like a double yeah. layer of the serum. And like this kind of like finger yeah. motion is good for that, isn't it? It's yeah. like stippling rather than rubbing. Yeah. Or brush as well. My test for any mask is like, so for instance, all of the serum is on this. So I take this on my hands. Yeah. Love that. And I rub it into my hands. This is what I do before I do someone's makeup. If I haven't used a mask myself and I, it's in my kit and I need it. And if my hands feel really good and not sticky afterwards and the, they don't crumble, then I know it's good products. Then I, I mean, it doesn't have to be clean, but I know it's going to work well with makeup. And I've put this on and it just absorbs in like a hyaluronic acid wood. It's really, really nice. Oh, I love so that. that's my test. And that's how people can test if they're doing a mask because it's great to have a mask that does all of like, you know, hydrating, toning, everything. But if you have to then wash your face to take off the residue of the mask and then apply makeup, it's not gonna work, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, timing, it's all about timing these so days. This is gonna, so we're standing up, so little tip. So let's start with the decollete first. Okay. Um, it's gonna be quite wide. So we're gonna do a left side first. This is the most off the shoulder top that I could fit no into that I own postpartum. <laughs> So let me show you guys. So this is our neck and decollete treatment. And the great thing about Nesco is that we have a big two pieces for the decollete area, um, which, cause we really want to cover this. So this is my brightening. So great for hyperpigmentation, like hyperpigmentation. And then your one is really good for any redness, inflammation, sunburn. I definitely find I just get inflammation no matter what. That's my skin really shows. Like if I eat a lot of sugar, uh -huh. um i'll be really puffy before i go to bed and the next morning so but also i find i should get the pink one as well because i never really suffered with pigmentation but i did get a lot of pigmentation from my pregnancy which i'm not sure yeah. if that goes away yeah. or not i've never really had that issue do you use spf every day i really do i use yeah, like four too. different spfs on my face i put a hat on but like i do love to be outdoors so i'm not saying I'm always, I'm just going to yeah. take my sleeves down for a second. I didn't realize it was so far. I was like, this is a perfect time to do a decollete treatment. I feel like we neglect this area. Do you agree? Oh my God, 100%. Oh, it feels so nice. So normally, guys, what we would do, and Kate agrees, is we always want to do de a neck decollete face treatment, if possible, lying down. And while she's getting adjusted, I'll let you kind of put that on. Thank I'll just you. Say I'll just say a little bit about sort of um, the technology with Nesco and the thickness of my mask. So a lot of the masks on the market are quite thin, uh, different materials, cotton, paper, biocellulose. With Nesco, we use hydrogel technology. And with mine in particular, they store about 10 times the weight of serum. So they're really a facials on demand. I really, sometimes I don't even like saying mask because they're so luxurious and, and yeah. they're really big with the spa market. So you will see that in a lot of luxury spots, they use Nesco and they do our facials. 
And that's because our treatment really delivers. And usually after even 20 minutes, clients will see the results. So when using this for home care, and currently, you know, at the moment with the quarantine, we're all at home, you know, this is just a really nice way to maintain your skin until you get back to your facials and um, your, you know, routine in general. But for me, um, I created mask that's sort of strategically designed to prevent us all from running around the house, trying to do the dishes. I mean, this is really like when you put this on and Kate's gonna feel it. So just put it I'm on. watching you. I haven't done this one before, I, I have to say, it. and it's unusual, but it's amazing. Yeah, I'm putting my little strap over it to yeah, hold go it up. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to flash anybody on his slide. You could totally do it, because I know you did do this one before, and I really wanted to show it to you. I yeah, it's really awesome. good. Because if when you get your time at night to relax when your kids are back to you know gone to bed, yeah. you want to do this at least once every couple of weeks because it really will yeah. take you out of this world. There's also a lot. Uh, the reason why it's taking me so long is because there's so much extra serum, which is amazing. So I'm trying to just put this on first. So basically, I could reuse this. You can. With I feel like this, could, I could get like a couple of uses out of this. Can I tell you a little secret? What I've done? Yeah. Do you see? Do you see this? That's all your serum. I poured it in my cup. So cheers, my so smart. I wish I did that. Oh. So that's what I wanted to show you today. So what you can do is actually, if you drain it first, drain the serum and then, but you don't have to do it. This is just a little tip since I'm on camera and showing everybody. And what I normally would do, I would take that extra serum. And after I, I have a bath or shower, I would yeah. actually pour it all over my body. It's a firming quality. Of yeah, I've been trying to keep the serum in because I don't want to lose the serum because after this, I want to use the serum again because <laughs> I do reuse masks. But this one is like the amount that comes in it is amazing. I mean, it's like half a bottle of skincare that you're getting. It is. And this is what really let me know how if you have any questions as you're putting it on. So what I've done, I'll move back a bit. I'm getting there. No problem. No rush. This is why we're here. It's showing everybody. So I go underneath my uh, collarbone. Oh my God, doesn't it feel amazing? Which just See, like I have on top of my yeah. collarbone because it just sits there nicely. I mean, you can't do too much. Like, because if I start moving my neck, you may fall down, but that's normal. The, the, you know, the point is to like relax yeah. at the end. So when we get off, maybe you can leave it on and just like hide for another 20 minutes. <laughs> it feels really good on, I have to say. Yeah. So I mean, for you, a necklace and everything. So just come lower because you're sitting. Yeah, come lower with the neck just because we're standing up. So that way you can move it if you need to. And I mean, it's not that bad. It's kind of yeah. standing. How's it feel? Tell everybody. It feels amazing. Hold on, let me go a little lower. Yeah, come a little lower, just because you're um, sitting, standing up. And you do have a necklace on, which usually you can just take it off, might be easier. But how you no, feel? It feels really good. And it feels amazing. I'm like, I need to just fix my hair around it. Yeah, we're good. Right <laughs> Now, if you ever feel like you're sliding, you're going to get one of my rollers. And I know you got my green yeah. shade. And you can rub in extra serum into the skin. That really or, works. Just because I have so much serum on my hands right now. So Let me just rub in the serum that's on my hands. Yep. So what you want to do, guys, is all that we encourage you to really work it in. So when you think of Nesco masks, don't think of it as just a mask with a ton of serum. Think of it as a facial, really, right? Yeah. It's just crazy how cold it is. It feels re it does feel really good. Like my instinct is to just kind of lie down because that will keep it on. Like if I just sit like this, it works. It's just because I'm up so high for the camera. Yeah, can, yeah, so you can, if you want, just load it down a bit. Mine's in place. Just come down a little bit because you come all yeah. the way high. So see mine? Look, half of mine. Oh, yeah, yours, mine was up way too high. There you go. All right, cheers, mate. <laughs> no, I know. This is such a good trick, though, because it really, um, this is pushing all the ingredients in, right? Yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about this uh, roller. So we also carry uh, Reiki Char Gemstone rollers. And at Nesco, we have four different ones. And today we're going to talk about the green and the, and the white jade. So, okay, you've got the green, which is all about toning and the fining. And I've got the white jade, which is it's all about, about brightening. contouring and recovery. Got it. Contour refresh. All the rollers look similar things when it comes to lymphatic drainage ensuring the product penetrates even deeper into the skin, helps with puffiness. But then with Nesco, looking at the metaphysical side of the brand, which is the, like the gemstone and what each does, then yeah. you can kind of uh, customize even more. So that's where you can maybe get your favorite. So when we were talking, I'm like, what energy are you attracted to? And you mentioned you really wanted the green one, right? So yeah. a lot of people may mix and match, which is really good. 
Perhaps. And it's like, you can't really go wrong. Like no matter what roller you have, it's gonna do, it's gonna be beneficial. So I just went for the one that I was visually attracted to and that was the gold. And then the green went with this, wasn't it? Absolutely. So little tricks with the roller. You always wanna go in one direction following the lymph nodes. So we have lymph nodes behind Also, I should just say yeah. one thing. I'm yeah. doing this without a mirror. So it's like, I'm doing this in my phone. That's why I'm finding it a little bit harder. Yeah. Um, oh, you're doing great. Case. You do. This is your first time. It's amazing. <laughs> just so you know, because I do think it is easier than I'm making it look. It's really easy. And anyway, you did a fantastic job. Um, look, we're I'm like hold a mirror, which is going to help everybody. Me. Yeah, we're totally multi uh, multitasking because we're meant to do this lying down anyway. Like we put it on and then you just lie down and relax. So I this think this really, is the really area good. that we definitely forget about. I do know is when you wake up in the morning, you've got a lot of fine lines around that area and it gets really dry. Like the skin needs a lot of hydration. I've tried to take my skincare all the way down onto the decollage just because there's nothing worse than, you know, this part here is you're maintaining and then you're kind of neglecting the neck and chest. Absolutely. So for your VIP clients, I highly recommend this. Like if you ever go on a set and you just need some 20 minutes, this is such a nice way to distress your clients, to let them relax. You mentioned the coolness. So we use a uh, biodegradable a hydrogel technology, which naturally stays really, really cool. So these masks were not in the fridge. Mine were not in the fridge either, but they're so cooling. And they're so cooling. They feel like they've been in the fridge 100%, which yeah. is amazing because like the, you know, reality is I'm not going to have a cold mask for my client on set, you know, 99.9 yeah. unless there's a fridge somewhere yeah. even if i put mine in the fridge like it's gonna what it could be an hour's drive by the time they get there you set up like it's not gonna be cold anymore Absolutely. so the cold is great as a luxurious treatment at home for yourself but the fact that they actually you know feel like a cold cooling gel regardless if they've been in the fridge or not is amazing oh i'm so happy you like that um do you guys have any questions so i'm going to show you a couple of more routines so this is just this is how I do it, okay? And I like how you roll it. So it's towards my link. That, uh, link you know. This has fallen down a little bit, but it feels nice. That's all right. So then if I was to you reuse just, this at home. Live, just go and lie down for another 20 minutes. I would just leave it yeah. up for a bit. And if I was to reuse these at home, you can put them back into this little container that they come in. Yeah, you can do but that and within 24 think, hours. I know someone was asking there about the, what you do with the serum. I think they missed what we had said. So basically, if you want to keep the amount of serum that's in these masks. So as you can see, there's like a lot of serum. I'll just show this side. It's a lot of serum. It's kind of dripping off here, but you can see inside it's full. That is like buying a bottle of skincare. So don't waste it. So when you open the mask, you squeeze it into this little glass. And you pour it down. So you could keep that in your fridge and then the mask is also laid in a little kind of plastic tray. And so you can put your mask back into that, whether it be for your neck or your eyes, and you could just have a little clean section in your fridge. Or you could get a little skincare fridge, which are great for at home. I'm actually rubbing mine in to my legs because it just drips down, but it feels gorgeous anywhere. Yeah. But then at least, I don't know how, you know, then at least you're getting like at least three uses out of these masks. Oh yeah. So there's a couple of things with that. We just want to do it you know, watch like, um, you know, like the contrary, you know, indications. So I usually recommend within 24 hours, usually people yeah. tend to use this. So like today, tomorrow, as long as you put it in the fridge in a Ziploc bag and do it again the next day. Okay. Oh, so Ziploc bag. Yes. You want to keep it because you don't want anything getting in there and you want to make sure that it's clean in the fridge Ziploc. Then you okay. Put it again the next but this could go into the Ziploc bag. So this is the little container that it comes in. Yeah. So you could keep your, um, you could pour out the liquid first, the excess liquid. So you're keeping that because that's like all the dream product. Yeah. And then you can put this into the Ziploc bag, pour the liquid back in when you want to use it again. Yeah. So to clarify, if you don't want to pour, if you don't want to use it all at once, you yeah. don't need to pour it out. You keep it in here, right? Yeah. But if you want to do what I love to do is sometimes after I had like a bath or shower, yeah. I layer my whole body with this serum, like face. Yeah. Like I go all the way down south, as I say it. Yeah. And then I. And Where then we all I, need us. <laughs> I know my team can <laughs> laugh at me when I say that. I love it. And then I layer with body butter, like or body oil. So it's, it turns into a body serum, basically, right. and then you can put so your moist, your like body butter and moisturizer over that. It's so. honestly amazing. I have to say, it really is. I should have opened mine before we started. I was trying to like open them really casually, uh -huh. um, but that wasn't working. 
But um, I have to say, like the cooling feeling. Another thing I'd like to ask about that I find works really well for me. If I go to my facialist, I'll always ask her for a lymphatic drainage. So she'll yeah. sometimes manually massage. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes she will use like um, some machine that she has for lymphatic drainage, you're kind of like it's a suction machine. Okay. You can massage at home, but what are the techniques I could use on myself and on my clients for lymphatic drainage with this tool? Yep, so you, what do you wanna do? I always do it in set of threes. So okay. you, can, you can start as low as you can go now, but just go yeah. towards your soul. Let's do it together. One, yeah. two, three, and then go up, roll okay. in front. But you're bringing the roller down. Is that what drains the lymph? Yeah, so lymph is underneath the armpit. The armpit. So the right first now. one is underneath the arm. Okay. Yeah. Come on. And then neck, you can go up if you like. There's one way. Yeah. And you don't have to press really hard when you're doing lymphatic drainage. It's just about like really moving that. Or you can go yeah. sideways and kind of drain this way. So and basically then, you're draining the lymph nodes are down the neck. So yeah. you're first kind of in, in, using the lymph nodes under the armpit and then you go to the side of the neck, right? Correct. So the other lymph nodes are behind the ears. So you can- Behind the, the ears. So that if you were, nose, can you, you go can on the jaw perfect. like this? I yeah. do this. I don't know if it's the right thing to do. No, this is perfect. One, okay, because that feels really good. And this, gen okay, it looks like we're doing nothing here, but if you do this and you do the three times and you push into where the lymph nodes are on the body, it really makes a difference to the skin. And that's what I suffer with most. I just get like a fluidy, puffy face, depending yeah, on what I eat. I love this. Yeah. And you can keep it in the fridge as well, if you like. So if you ever wake up in the morning and you're feeling puffy, I've got like yeah. my eggs for the children. <laughs> yeah. And I've got my mask. Skincare. And then I my roll. Yeah. So, you know, you just got to get, you know, in the habit. Like you put on, what I normally do before I even start making breakfast is I take one of my eye treatments, pour the serum, apply face neck deco yeah that's my morning serum so i'm not using my pumps or anything at yeah. this point yeah i put on the eye treatment and then i start cooking and if i have a yeah. feeling it's starting to you know there's extra serum underneath my mask i'll simply just remove it and spread it down my face you could press it in like you said or yeah roller depending on you know what you're doing reapply and forget it's there and that's kind of like yeah, and honestly you would forget these are on i only noticed the neck one because i'm sitting up but yeah. uh, these ones are like are I don't even know that I have these on anymore. The little small um, part of the roller on the other side, can you contour? Will that help sculpture like a cheekbone? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can contour with that one. You can really contour and just really... And you're just pop. pushing I to like the to ear. On the top of the eye as well. Yeah, so you can bring that up like there. I love that. And um, so that's kind of how that works. So there's so much to cover in this video, but I think the main point really is that you know i'm so happy that you like my products i'm just so grateful honestly they re the thing about it is i i do get sent so many masks and for me it's all about timing obviously i want to give a luxurious experience to my clients so if i put on a mask it needs to one do what it says it does it needs to actually work it needs to be comfortable because a lot of the time when you're having the mask there's people behind blow drying their hair so they're doing this blow drying their hair so it needs to be able to sit on and there's always an issue to the point that like clients just get frustrated and take the mask off. So yours was the first mask I actually used on one of my clients. She was having her hair blow dried. The eye patches were on. Everything went really smoothly. Um, and I had so much serum left over. And when I rubbed the serum into my hands, I was like, this is good. I know this is going to work really well. Then when I remove the mask and the eye patches, I can just put a tiny bit of moisturizer over it. And even if it's still wet, the moisturizer works really well. So I just think little tips for people out there when they're buying masks, any mask, it's like if the product rubs nicely into your hands, it's like when you put on moisturizer, if it doesn't feel slippy afterwards, the makeup is going to sit really well. Because Absolutely. there's nothing worse than doing the mask, then you've done your foundation, you go to powder, what happens is the mask rolls with the foundation and you have to take everything else off and start again. And I think I need to do things quickly for my clients, but for people at home they're not going to want to put on a mask and then have to cleanse it off so i think everybody want is like under time pressure these days absolutely um and then it's just the intention behind the mask which is really what got me as well i think it's such a beautiful message and i love crystals and um, so when i could see that each one was infused and charged with reiki and that you had like the um, infused crystals and the little message like the little intention it's just really nice it's so positive and i just think we need more of that in our lives right now in the state of the world thank you i'm so grateful what well, the intention you have right now with the goal is i honor my intuition and for me is i am connected so just really I'm and this so i think this is another reason why i like the gold i like that because i'm like at the moment you know 
I'm trying to also tone. So I was like, I'm going to get the tony one for my face and my body will become toned. <laughs> <laughs> Last tip for everybody watching that the decollete treatment also doubles up as a hand treatment. So when you're done, you can actually leave it on the back of your hand for five minutes. Oh my God, that's exciting. And that's been, that's going to be really helpful because so many people's hands are really dry at the moment, all the, you know, washing that we're doing and the hand sanitizer. So, and then for those of you, so these are all available in my multi-masking kit. So in there you get actually uh, two face masks. You get an eye treatment, a neck treatment, decollete treatment, and a lip treatment. So the entire range for both gold and diamond collection, which are our global yeah. sellers. And then you for can also just see, like, it's in perfect condition. <laughs> you know, it's really great. Later, can use... the kids are yeah. asleep again, and it's right? roasting hot. I feel like it's taken all of that hot. It's like really cooled down your body. This has now become really warm. So you can put that back into the fridge with the product. It's great. It does. That's so, that's so true. So now they're ready to kind of wear for your hands if you like. And, and those of you who are unsure, like if you need the neck, uh, if you need the decollete treatment, I always say at least 30 and up for prevention. I always recommend it. I really believe in prevention. So it's up to you guys. But if you don't want to use it on decollete, actually, they're all the same um, pieces. It's like a puzzle. So then, yeah. you should, so then you have three neck treatment, which is really great. So you yeah. I think I'm excited to get these little lines here. I couldn't get the mask up that high because I have to sit back. But tonight I'm going to do the mask there. I'll, try, I'll do it before and after. I'll take a photo and send it to you because I can definitely see. I don't know if you can see, but my the here the decolletage is like my skin looks amazing, oh, like so happy. really really good. And it that's actually usually where I get my my driest. And it, and it feels again, it just feels nice to touch. It doesn't feel like I've had something sticky on. You know. Oh, thank you. Do we have a look at the eyes? Should I take them off? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, remember I had makeup on, but oh, that is nice. Yeah, it looks really good. This is my second treatment today <laughs> because I had my yeah. You want because you have to do one to come on. I love that. No, I didn't because do I had anything. my breakfast this morning. I got up so early. My daughter was up really late. She's teething, so I was up really early having you know my coffee and my my cookies. <laughs> I've got this obsession but you look really good I love it how's it feel because not only does it like for me I find like it's after plumping this part of my eye but then like giving nice dewiness to the cheekbone wow I mean it's like a skincare glow you know the fact that you can just I have a full face of makeup on I have powder on because with I have makeup lights on and with the um, makeup lights you go really shiny so it's like it hasn't like done anything bad to my makeup whatsoever apart from make it look more hydrated and no. here as well, I feel like it does. It's just the serum, the actual ingredients in there, the serum, the mask is amazing. I think you need to bottle that. We are. We're working okay. on it. We were hoping for this year, but we may have to wait a little bit with COVID and everything. Yeah. Happening. But we're known for our serum. And when people learn about Nesco and then when they see the value, like you were talking about, you realize you were actually like buying like a whole bottle of serum plus a mask, plus a whole treatment. So the yeah. value is way more than just a sheet mask which i think that's the thing and the reason why i say that is because sometimes the products that i recommend might be like a tiny bit more expensive than you know there could be a million masks on the market but do you get are you getting first of all like good quality ingredients in there you know they're clean products and the fact that you're also you know they're biodegradable and on top of that the amount of serum that you're getting in there which i don't know if everybody would realize if you're just buying different type of masks you know and just little techniques like feeling that it absorbs into your skin, that you can put it over your makeup. Like there's a reason why it's more luxury, you know? Thank you, Kay. You're so amazing. I'm so grateful to have your love for my brand. And I, um, love, my I love this. Business I just, I, anyone can see when people are doing something really good with their brand, you know? Thank um, you. And like the, the, the meaning behind it, like it's amazing. So I'm a big fan. Thank you. Well, I hope you can use them again later on when everybody. I know. I'm going to do couch. a full thing on the couch tonight where I can just lie down. Send I mean, a picture. It does make fun. me want to have a glass of wine as well, like mask and wine, but it's kind of like defeats the purpose. It's like drying, detoxing, and retoxing. <laughs> <laughs> do a bath. I did a bath last Friday. It was amazing. That's so good. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I think it's really nice in the bath because you're lying down. Crystals. And kind of move. Yeah. Put some crystals in there. Uh, I did my like stage stick the other night. It was awesome. <laughs> And then know, so good at the Palo Santo. I love that's the nicest. Yeah, it's all and I'm going to take all these now and put it in. I'm going to decant into all this serum into a little bottle that I have. Uh, so I will let you know when I launch one. Yes, please one. do. Please do. Make it all huge right. for your whole body.
Thank you so much for doing this live with me. I had so much Thank fun. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs>